What's up everyone, it's DSP, and uh, today I'm trying something totally different. Um, uh, it's called food reviews, and uh, what I will be doing is, when I get the opportunity to eat different kinds of food, uh, whether it's fast food, whether it's uh, food that I buy and I prepare myself, or maybe I go out to a restaurant or something like that, um, I'm going to go ahead and review it, and uh, basically give you a first-hand look at uh, in my opinion, on what what, it, what the the food is like, and I'm going to review it three different ways. <clears throat> First, you will have uh, actual flavor, then you'll have presentation, and then you'll have nutritional value. And uh, sometimes, obviously, flavor and presentation are subjective. Nutritional value, if I had the information uh, for the food, obviously, it's a lot easier. But the truth is that a lot of this information isn't available. Um, I actually tried to look up some of the information today and I couldn't find it. So it's going to be based off of my opinion, basically, of what the nutritional value of the food is. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> to start, episode one here, per se, it is breakfast time. It's actually pretty early in the morning. It's about 9 o'clock. And uh, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten for quite a long time, uh, actually almost 24 hours, which is a funny story. But anyway, uh, I went to my local Burger King, which is right down the street from me, and I picked up, I don't know if anyone's seen, but I've been bombarded, bombarded with their ads for this new breakfast menu that they have. And they have all kinds of new things, apparently, new sandwiches, a new ultimate breakfast. Today I picked up the their new ciabatta sandwich. Um, I'm trying to see what the name of it is. I guess it's called the... The, break the breakfast ham and, che and, and cheese ciabatta? I'm not even sure. Um, but it's funny because I said, yeah, I'd like the ciabatta sandwich. And what did they do? They gave me a bag. And in the bag, they also gave me hash browns, which I didn't even ask for. So I don't know if they just put them in there by accident or if you order the ciabatta sandwich, you get hash browns for free. There's actually one that was so greasy, it was stuck to the bag. <laughs> it was actually stuck in the bottom of the bag and it wouldn't move. Um... So here you go. Here's your hash browns, which I didn't order, but it came with the ciabatta. They, I didn't order the combo. Look at this. This hash brown also won't move. It's actually, it's actually fused to the side of the paper. That's great. Oh my god, I can't even move it. Oh my god, it's it's ripping. I can't get it off the paper. Wow. Um. Okay. So that's gonna go in there in the fucking trash. So you got hash browns. Now this is obviously what I wanted was the ciabatta sandwich. So let's take a look at this. Now, ciabatta. Everyone says, what is ciabatta? Ciabatta is a special kind of bread. Uh, as you can see here, it's a, f it's a, it's a flat bread. And uh, frequently, ciabatta bread is used for things like panini sandwiches and things like that. So just taking an initial look. I haven't touched the sandwich yet. Here you go. We're going to flip the ciabatta. What do we have? We have some kind of a mysterious yellow sauce um, with two... Sh I take that back. Four strips of microwaved bacon... Uh, a couple pieces of ham, it looks like. A yellow egg. Let's flip this and look what it looks. Like, see what it looks like on the bottom. And this is fused to the paper. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, on the bottom. Ugh, it's actually sticky on the bottom. I don't know what that's about. Um, it looks like there's melted cheese with the egg on the bottom. So, egg... Uh, ham, bacon, and some kind of a mysterious sauce that I can't identify, and hash browns. So first, let's, let's grab a hash brown. I'm hungry, so. Mmm. Mm. The hash browns have a, a, a an odd kind of a seasoning to them. They actually taste different than other hash browns that I've had. Let me have one more. Mmm. definitely just not a, a plain fried potato. There's something else in there, but I can't really put my finger on it. So now we're going to try the sandwich. Um, this could go either way. <laughs> definitely depending on how this thing looks, so bear with me. So we're going to take a bite of this new ciabatta sandwich from Burger King. And I'll give my honest opinion here. Mmm. Wow, salt. Wow. Holy salt. It's an odd combination of flavors because 
the egg and all the meat are extremely salty, but the ciabatta bread is actually sweet. It's almost like a sweet and sour kind of a flavor. And now it actually looks like there's either a tomato. Yeah, there's a, a slice of tomato on the sandwich as well that I didn't see between the egg and the ham right there. You see it right there in between? Let me take another bite. Mmm. This is a completely unique flavor. Sweet, sour, and then the acidity from the tomato as well. Mmm. It's an interesting combination. And, uh, to be completely honest, this isn't half bad. This thing looks disgusting, but it actually, actually tastes pretty good. I'm going to take one more bite. Mmm. So, mmm. And that's pretty hilarious. I've taken three bites, and half the meat has slid off the sandwich already. <laughs> In fact, look, the egg's coming off, everything's sliding apart. But So overall, this sandwich isn't half bad. Um, it's a unique flavor. It's very heavy, by the way, this sandwich. Just picking it up, it's got to weigh at least like a... It's definitely a quarter pounder, you know what I mean? It's like a, a heavy, sand, heavy breakfast sandwich. Um, Pricing, just so everyone knows, this I live in Connecticut, so obviously the pricing here is more expensive than a lot of other places, but this was $3.39 for this combo of the sandwich and the hash brown, so overall, not bad, so actually presentation wise, the hash browns looked absolutely disgusting, they were sticking to the wrap, the sandwich itself didn't look too bad, but also, it wasn't any kind of a masterpiece. I'm going to rate these out of five, so I'm going to give it like a three out of five for presentation. Definitely could have looked a lot more appetizing, but it didn't look disgusting either. Um, Flavor-wise, flavor-wise, it's interesting, actually. It's an interesting combination of sweet, sour, and acidity from the tomato. I didn't even... The tomato was an interesting touch. I didn't think there was going to be any tomato on here. The tomato actually, I think, makes the sandwich because it combines the two flavors. It's like the bridge between the sweet and the sour. If there was no tomato, the sweet and the sour might be an odd combination, but I actually like this uh, because of the acidity of the tomato. So I'm going to say, flavor-wise, this is actually a four. For a breakfast sandwich, it's pretty damn good. You know, I've had other things like egg big muffins and all the other breakfast sandwiches from fast food. This is an interesting new addition to the fast food menu um, for breakfast. But nutritional value... Gee, let's see. <laughs> now, Burger King, I think McDonald's actually does list the nutritional value of their food on their wrappers. Burger King does not. I don't blame them because, let's face it, uh, fake fried egg, uh, cheese, ham, bacon, and a tomato slice with ciabatta bread, and freaking fried hash browns. This is, like, extremely unhealthy for you. Um, however, it's probably very high in protein, and to eat this as a breakfast probably will give you, uh, excuse me, that's from the three bites I had. I'm burping already. It uh, probably gives you a lot of energy. Um, so nutritional value on a scale of five, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because fast food, I'm going to tell you right now, when I do these for fast food, they're always going to have a low rating because fast food usually is pretty bad. Um, it's, not, it's not zero because it's not a sugar-filled fucking thing. It's not a, a dessert. It's not a one because it's not a horrendous thing. It's definitely going to give you energy, but it's very bad for you. You can tell. It's going to have fat. It's going to have all kinds of salt. Like I said, the first thing I tasted when I bit it was a massive amount of salt. So not going to be very good for you. But if you're in a hurry, if you need something that's going to taste good and also boost you probably energy-wise, this is probably a, a good choice. So um, overall, not bad. You figure, all right, so three plus a two plus a four is a nine. Divide by three. Overall... The new Burger King uh, breakfast ciabatta sandwich gets a three. So, not bad. Um, interesting. At, you know, yes, it gets a middle of the road rating, but I am pretty picky. And uh, that's a, a glass of my own orange juice, by the way. No, Burger King does not give you that much orange juice with anything you order. I didn't order the combo because I had it at home. But, all right, that concludes the first episode. I hope you uh, 
this helps people to decide what they want to do. You know, if you're hungry and you want to run out and grab something, uh, there will be more in the future. Burger King uh, Breakfast Jabata Sandwich gets a 3 out of 5.